Hello, I'm Dan Kennedy from Galleraf. Let's talk to you today about Sphere for Manufacturing. Sphere for Manufacturing is an efficient, effective cost estimating tool for all your manufacturing needs. The information inside Sphere for Manufacturing is based on the partner share information we have and industry share information we have and, and in some cases down in first principle data. Uh, Sphere for Manufacturing will let you do simple or complex manufacturing estimating uh, at many different levels. Uh, this is an example of a, of a work breakdown structure for a race car. This is one of our samples. You notice we've got assemblies, we've got composites, we've got uh, paint finishings. We've got all kinds of different engineering processes modeled inside this tool that will let you take a look at what you're buying or what you're building and get accurate cost estimates for it. But as complex as this looks, it is not as complex as it looks. Uh, and we've also included some tools to make your estimating much, much easier, much quicker, and much more efficient. This particular tool is called Sphere for 3D. It works with step files, which are CAD agnostic files that uh, let you bring in just about anything that you can model and, and estimate it. Sphere for 3D lets you estimate manufacturing processes in machining, additive manufacturing, composites, machine level. This example is the machine part. So we're going to do machining. In this case, it's fairly round. So we're going to go ahead and do a turn bore machine on this. Uh, we've got a number of different environments that let you simulate your own shop or your own machining centers or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, very simple to do. Based on production quantities, based on setup amortizations, based on different kinds of raw stock, based on different kinds of materials, um, it'll uh, allow you to get a tool fabrication design and finish with heat treat processes to it. But this is how you start uh, a model inside Sear 3D. What I've done is imported a step file. I could have imported uh, any other step files that I wished, but I, I picked this one. Um, ask you for the general settings, you may do one part, you may do a thousand parts. So it doesn't care, you update them here. It'll, it'll identify the features in this part and assign manufacturing processes to it. In this case, it's doing some, some volume rough turnings, some detailed rough turnings, boring and some milling. Um, when you get to the surface finish selections, you can go ahead and refine your estimate even farther by applying such things as tolerances to these surfaces, uh, different manufacturing processes if you'd like to. If you've got a very tight tolerance associated with this area here, you just crank down the tolerance on that. Um, it'll pick out the holes. And inside these holes, if you, you might wish to have a tight tolerance on that hole, in which case you'd set it there, or you might choose to go ahead and tap these. Once you've gone through the model, told it what you want here to model for you, you simply go on and tell it to estimate. Now, what's going on right here, Sear is interrogating all of those surfaces, all the features it found in that step model. It's assigning a Sear manufacturing process to each of those features in there. And then bringing in the data that you've given it, such as the tolerances on the holes, the fact that you're tapping holes. And it is now working diligently uh, to get me an estimate. And there it is. Um, you'll see that in this case, it's uh, gone in and picked out all those features and assigned these machining processes to those features. Flat fill, curved. Um, you'll notice there's where we told it we want to tap those six holes. So it's given us an estimate already. This big red ball says that we've asked it for a tooling uh, estimate for these things. And, and typically, I don't look at tooling 
the beginning, so I'm going in there to go ahead and change this. This is a good tool for uh, extracting those things. And this little tool that I'm pulling down here lets me change the elements inside here very, very quickly and across the board. So now you'll see that we've got a $2,200 part. Boy, that seems kind of expensive for a little part like that. Let's see what we can do about it. This is one of my favorite features of Sears Manufacturing is the set reference. I'll go ahead and I'll set a reference, and let's talk about what we might be able to do about this. Um, one of the things I believe is that if I'm making one of these things, they are going to be very expensive. But if I were to make 100, and I were to make them uh, with setups of 10 at a time, uh, my costs would come down considerably, as they certainly do. Uh, I have to do the same thing for finishing. Put 100 parts in there. Do a setup amortization of 10. You'll see that I've taken the cost of this part down from $2,200 to $175. You can do these trades on any of the SEER manufacturing uh, processes, features, quantities, just about anything inside here for manufacturing, you can change uh, just by going ahead and changing them. Um, this is very clever. One of the things that Sierra also lets you do is it lets you go in and look at uh, costs you might expect in other countries. I could have chosen to do this in Mexico or China or, or any place like that. We've got a built-in labor cost estimating tool, and um, we have what we believe to be reasonably accurate costs for the United States and all of these other countries. So here's a, that was a quick look at the SEER 3D tool. Um, we have a similar tool for, for designers, people who are working in the CATIA environment. Uh, you'll notice that the menu looks very similar. You pull in the parts you're interested in looking at. You tell it how many parts you want to build. You tell it how many, what your setup amortization is likely to be, whether it's raw stock, laid, just as we did before. There's your roughing operations. There are your surface finish operations where you can change just things as tolerances, shows you the surfaces, change the tolerances. Hole drilling, um, you can edit the hole drilling. You can add tap holes. Same as we did before, through holes, tapped holes, mean holes. Same thing as in 3D. Uh, it's just intended to be on the desktop for the design engineer to use because this will give him real-time feedback on the design decisions he's making on his part. It can sit right at his desktop. Well, those are the tools that we make to make it easier to... Um, create estimates inside SEER, but what does SEER cover? SEER covers an awful lot of things. We've got hundreds and hundreds of processes and machines uh, that are covered in here. You can make very complex indented manufacturing tools and materials and, and manufacturing plans, uh, machining, finishing, heat treat, assembly. Here are the major elements that SEER includes. We include machining which has got many different uh, manufacturing machines and processes included in those. You can add your own if you wish. Uh, we've got fabrication, which is typically using flat stock, sheet metal, bending, forming, welding. Uh, we've got finish and heat treating. These operations that include all kinds of different uh, secondary processes, painting, Electroplating, uh, heat treatment, shopping, peening, those kind of things. Uh, we've got assembly operations, mechanical assembly, welding, brazing. Uh, we cover out any manufacturing. If you need to uh, get an estimate or a trade on what it's going to cost to have a molded part versus an actively manufactured part, we cover most of the most of the um, processes inside additive manufacturing. Uh, lots of different machines associated with those as well. So uh, 
you can get a an additively manufactured part done and then take it into machining to machine the processes that you would like. We cover mold cast and forging. Uh, mold cast and forging with a number of different processes, roto molding, plastics, metals, uh, forging, investment casting, hot isostatic pressing, lots of different processes there. We can help you model and cost out PC boards. Uh, you can do either the basic PC board, you can do details, you can put your bill of materials in there. Uh, it will show you how to build the boards, help you estimate that. Uh, we've got electrical assembly, cables, fiber optic cables, harnesses, um, tubing, bending tubing, welding tubing, anything you want to do with tubing. If you're, if you're buying parts, you can put your uh, purchase parts in, add those into your build materials. Uh, and if there's anything that we haven't covered, uh, we give you a very simple block here where if you know something about your process, you can add in uh, additional items. Um, how many of you want setups, directs, inspections, reworks, all of those things can be added in and will come out in the report. Uh, we have a whole family of what we call aero processes geared specifically to the aerospace industries. We cover composites, all different kinds of composite manufacturing, uh, hand lay, braiding, filament winding, uh, the cures, autoclaves, oven cures, e-beams. Uh, we run the Vardam and RTM processes. Uh, trimming, of course, after you move your parts, you've got to trim the thing. A lot of different ways to do that. As you go to assemble things, uh, we've we handle that in three separate processes. One is fit up, one is drill, one is fasten. This is where you meet the parts, fill the gaps, uh, do all of the fit up, shimming, hard shims, soft shims, uh, clico things together. We've got drilling operations, different kinds of holes, different kinds of materials, different material stack ups, um, and fastening. Go ahead and uh, any of the fasteners that you might want to put in there. We have a lot of tables with different sorts of fasteners that you drive in there at times to install those. Um, we do sheet metal. Sheet metal in this case, similar in a way to the fabrication work element that we have, but it's more customized for aerospace. Uh, we've got preform operations, we've got forming operations, and we've got uh, finishing operations all associated with these things, brake forming, brow rubber, hydro forming, stretch forming, after forming operations, uh, straightening, things like that, uh, part finishing operations. Uh, they're just all included in this one work element to make your estimate for sheet metal much quicker, much easier. We do bonding, aerospace bonding, prepping, things like that. We've got some of the more exotic processes modeled, uh, electron beam assembly, where you're locally curing things. Uh, we're doing 3D reinforcement if you want to make very complex composites. And we do super plastic forming if you're dealing with hot sections in engines or anything that uh, is likely to see uh, hot thermal cycling. Uh, again, we cover over 400 different processes, 400 different machines, uh, and uh, just about anything you might want to build, we can help you estimate the cost of those bills. So let's take a look at a minute. Uh, if you've got something that isn't necessarily um, covered with the CAD the cost work elements we have, the general layout of the SEER desktop. You've got a work breakdown structure on the left window. You've got reports in this lower left window. You've got charts of what your costs and how they're accumulating that will come up in this lower right window. And then you've got what I call the working window, where you tell it how many parts you're going to build, um, what your direct hourly rates might be. Use our labor rate calculator. It'll populate that for you. What the experience of your team is, uh, what product classification it is. And, and all of these are extensively um, help filed, which means if you get to where you don't understand what Sears is looking for, you simply hit that help button, and there will be a parameter help telling you what the classifications are. You can make them for toys all the way up to spacecraft. Uh, and 
this particular case for the, for the product description. You set these up anytime there's a free column, and what, will, what it will generate for you is it will generate what we call a risk curve, where if you're not certain, you can get a risk, um, a cost risk, and it'll show you a range of costs that are associated with this thing. Each and every process has exactly these same tabs in it, and they're all identical for uh, the four. It's only when you get into process specific that it becomes different for each process. What Sears generally looking for is just looking for the dimensions of your, your part. It's looking for what material you're using. We've populated it with what we believe to be accurate uh, material costs per pound for aluminum alloys. And then you just begin laying in uh, different manufacturing processes, roughing in mill. Uh, there's a lot of different ways, ways to describe how you're going to take this off roughing. You take a 12 inch by 12 inch by 1 inch machine cut on this, and it'll start calculating what your costs are immediately, and it'll give you analyses of where your costs are falling. That's as simple as it is to build these things up. As I say, we cover all different kinds of, of processes. Now. Once you have modeled your manufacturing plan and you have created a cost on this, we offer a bunch of different reports that will let you do these things. We can do detailed analyses on these things. It will tell you how much time for setup, direct inspection. It will tell you what your, what your material costs are going to be. I haven't entered one yet, but, that's, uh, but it will when I do it. It will calculate my material cost. It will calculate my run time, my setup time, my total hours on these things, the average production unit cost. It's telling me what my volumetric removal rate is. There's a lot of information you can extract from the quick estimate and, and create it as you wish. Um, most of these menu selections up here should be fairly intuitive to everybody. Uh, you can make rest, custom reports. Um, you can insert work elements, delete them, demote them, promote them, move them down. This is to organize your work breakdown structure. Uh, different parameters that you can set. You can hide them. You can highlight them. You can change multiples. Different tools that you can use. It's got a calculator function that pops up on the desktop. Uh, you can choose many different kinds of reports that we have pre-made. Or if you wish, you can create your own custom reports and create your own template using just about anything that Sierra has inside it. Very simple and very easy to do. Um, lots of different charts that you can choose. Look at the hourly rate functions, cost risk, cost analysis, operation details and analysis. Um, you can import and export things. You can push these things out to different applications. Um, these are the uh, control. Uh, the control tabs for this to show you where you're storing your projects, where the knowledge bases that you're coming into are, where the INI files are stored, those sorts of things. Um, this engine is, this Sierra Manufacturing is the engine that sits behind all those CAD for cost tools. Um, inside machining, as you recall, I, uh, I put an end mill roughing in here. If you have subject matter experts and you want to uh, take full control of those things, you can. You can lay your specific machine tool in there. Um, you can tell it how you want to load it. Um, you can tell it whether it's manual or whether you're going to be using different equipment, what your times are going to be, what kind of cutter you might want to use. And, uh, and Sierra will go ahead and we'll, and we'll calculate these things. Customize to your shop very simply. Um, you can look at those details if you wish. You can turn those off. It's just a very effective tool in the hands of, uh, of an estimator or an engineer who has some idea of what these things are and how to build things. You can create very, very accurate, very, very accurate estimates on these things. Um, and once again, one of the ideal 
situations is if you can use one of these tools to make that uh, estimate much more quick, much uh, more accurate. I'll come back and show you what this one created. Here is the machining operations. And you'll notice that it goes down into very fine details on these things, flat metal surfaces, puts fillets in there, puts your bores in there, capture holes. Uh, it just creates that very, very quickly and very, very accurately with everything that it can find inside your model. I thank you for your time. I hope you're interested. Um, and see if manufacturing. If there's anything else we can do for you, please let us know. Contact us at gallerath.com. Again, thank you for your time.